Mm-hmm. That's all right. Let people roll on in if they are going to. Four, ten. Today's the tenth, right? Yep. Ten. <laughs> you got it. I'm like, what day is it? Close okay. enough. Are we okay? And the mic is on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The heat is on. The, the mic, mic is, is on, on. Yeah. The mic burning, is on. Burning, burning, burning. It's on on the screen. (laughs) The mic is booty, 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 booty on. There we go. (laughs) Oh, Axel Slaughter is here and Neil is here. Hey. Neil deGrasse Tyson? (laughs) No, Neil House. Oh. Neil House is in the house. I thought maybe Neil deGrasse Tyson watched this too. No. That would well, be cool if he did, though. Well, he He's a heard, pretty smart guy. Maybe he heard from Lloyd Kaufman how this is better than uh, NPR. Maybe. You know. What, is that what Lloyd Kaufman said? Mommy the monkey. It's more educational more than edu- NPR. Yeah. That's so what he said. I'm thinking Neil deGrasse Tyson heard that and like, had to check it out. You never so, know. We got to see Lloyd Kaufman in passing. Yes. He was a very over busy the weekend. Man. Very he, busy man. He had a whole line of people waiting to get pictures and autographs with him. I'm trying to remember if I even saw him. Maybe when we passed by we yeah. did the walkthrough. When we did the walkthrough, and then in passing, I remember seeing him walking by. That's a busy dude, man. Very busy. Well, So we're a few minutes early. We're just giving people time to get into the chat and join us before mm-hmm. we start the podcast, guys. There's just a couple of people watching right now. Um, I put on uh, Facebook in the Facebook group 630. So, um, okay. And Wiki Bobby's here. Cool. Hey, Wiki Bobby. What's up? So nice to see ya. Nice to see the the early birds. Todd Andrews is here. Oh yeah, Todd. We saw him at Wasteland, right? We did. Yeah. Yep. And we've seen him, I think, at a couple other conventions. Yeah, lots of people showed up. Or maybe, up, uh, yeah, I think this, one or uh, two others. Past Wasteland weekend was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Todd, a lot Todd of brought people me a came beer. Out. He did. That oh, was one. it here? Well, there it is. The, uh, the Big Chuck one. Big Chuck beer. Although you shouldn't open that right now. I will not. Or ever. I will never. I'll probably have to explode one day, but that's okay. Probably won't taste very good. Yeah. Yeah. I did I did pick up these when they came out, and I drank them. Oh, so yeah? It's good to have another can of it, even though <laughs> I won't drink this one. That's cool. Thanks, Todd. That's pretty neat. Thank that's on you. the set, like we said. Yeah, we're going to keep it. We found an honored spot right there. Keep Ball. it on the set by the blacks <laughs> and the other... Weird figurines and stuff. Slash's Graveyard Tales is here. Slash, what's up, man? A, a horror host friend of ours, and he's got his videos on his Facebook page and on his YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out Slash's Graveyard Tales later on, you could do a Google search and it'll come right up. Uh, look at look, cool stuff. Rock and Roll is here. They say hello. Wiki Bobby says, did everyone enjoy the solar eclipse on Monday? Wait a minute, did that already happen? <laughs> but I have my sunglasses on. I was waiting. I thought oh, it was going to this coming Monday. What D- the? Darn. What? You got the day hey, mixed now, up. now, what? Oh, boy. <laughs> we did see the eclipse, and it was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It was pretty. That ring light looks like the eclipse. <laughs> when I close my eyes, I see the, the eclipse. That ring light could burn your eyes like the it, eclipse. When I shut my eyes, I could see the. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty wild. It was uh, interesting to be in the path of totality, as we were here in Northeast Ohio. Um, we were fortunate enough to be in that sort of, uh, you know, uh, area to, to experience the full effect or it, effect of the, the full uh, effect of uh, the uh, total eclipse. It was really awesome. And I think if uh, if there is an eclipse in your area, in your part of the world, you should definitely see it because it's it's one of those, especially when like everything went dark like that. It just looked so cool. And you could tell like, like it got colder, the air was different. It, w- it was definitely an experience. If you wait a few minutes after sundown, you see the same thing. <laughs> but it lasts for like about nine hours. <laughs> and then it's daylight again. It lasts a lot longer. But it, it was cool. And, oh, and time. Like all the neighbors <laughs> were out also viewing the eclipse. Well, you heard people. Yeah, they were everyone's all Everyone's like, whooping it up. Yeah. <laughs> there there was someone else like in the neighborhood sending off fireworks for that four minutes of Multiple darkness. Multiple places, yeah, woo. You know. Any excuse for, for some people to set off fireworks. Any reason around here to set a firework off. Yeah, it's like all the time. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Well, I, you know, 
but it was fun. Nobody, nobody went crazy. Nobody, uh, the rapture didn't happen. No the raptors happened. Happened. Velociraptor didn't happen. <laughs> uh, nobody, nobody. Uh, as far as I know, you know, the, the, there's, you know, the end of the world didn't happen. As far no. as I know, life goes on. And it was, it was something very. <laughs> I have a joke, but I can't say it. It was something very cool. Okay. Um, it freaked my dog out, says Todd. Yeah, the animals were confused by it. Yeah, they showed um, footage mm -hmm. from the zoo, the Cleveland Zoo, where some of the bird, like the flamingos and some other animals, because they, they all follow, you know, if one starts flipping out, then they all flip out. Yeah, the flamingos were and freaking out. Yeah, there was a little bit of a panic uh, with the flamingos and probably some other animals because it's just kind of throw. So primitive man, probably the same way. Our and cats that. were just sleeping like they usually do. They didn't, I don't think they noticed. They're like, whatever. I blame the eclipse and things like that and earthquakes for the problems we have in this world with people. Because I think that triggered a bunch of goofy stuff. I think if you didn't have any reference for that stuff, of course you think the that's something weird. You don't know, you don't know how well, to process it. Well, so they, you, science has known that we do they now. know. Well, yeah. But now, in beings, modern times, yeah, but, we, but can, I, we can tell what saying, year th these are going to happen. Yeah, but we can when and all, all that. that. But yeah. I'm saying early humans, when they when a volcano, well, that's what, and they attribute it to the gods being angry or something being mad at them mm -hmm. from high above. Well, because uh, they didn't understand Raining it. down this But horrible, now, now we've got a good understanding. That's what I'm saying. So could you imagine? I mean, no, yeah. you, get, you got to see that firsthand. Like if you were like in caveman times. Well, yeah. And you don't, just set you don't, primitive man. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you imagine what they must have tried, with no point of reference, what... How do they process it? Well, I'm saying, and from that, I think a lot of stuff probably stemmed a lot of our superstitions, a lot of our, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, beliefs and stuff like that, whether they're religious or not, um, come from natural events like that because they're so awesome. You just sat there and yeah. said, in this day and age, when even when you knew it was coming, it's still... It was still really awesome. Right. So yeah. take, take all the knowledge of knowing what it is away. It's probably 10 times more awesome or confusing or crazy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so I'm just just making conversation. That's all. And if you guys hear the um, the computer fan does run in the background, so you will hear that fan. That's not me farting. No, and it's not the ocean breeze. It's not like me trying to. It's just our. It's just the computer fan, <laughs> and the mic picks it up sometimes. Doing SBDs over here. Okay, so it's six thirty, guys. We've got bargain barons in the chat. Hello, Kenny Cleary, Seth, Wiki, Bobby, Grandpappy, Bruce. Cook, wow, it's Ed like Bird, a regular show. Amanda Childers, Ruby Tuesday, Marty's here. Wow. Wow. Everyone's rolling on nice in. crowd Love here. It. All right. Well, let's get the podcast started. All right, everybody. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to another exciting episode of Living, Living the, the Scream. Scream. The behind the scenes of The Mummy and the Monkey. And I am Janet the Mummy. And I am James the Monkey, I guess, if you want to say it that way. But And uh, <laughs> we... Um, our horror hosts, we are vloggers, we um, put all kinds of stuff on our YouTube channel. We also uh, rescue found media. We have got a, a playlist called Rescued Reels, Oof. where it's like film we scanned in, or maybe old commercials off a of tape, oh. stuff like that. You name it, we, we got it. Whether mm -hmm. it's audio tape, videotape, Betamax, uh, reel to reel, <laughs> you know, it's just like <laughs> any, any format, eight track, we, uh, we try to find uh, cool stuff and we're starting to finally get that up and out on the uh on our um, youtube channel so look for yeah. the rescued reels uh what is it like a playlist it's a playlist okay. so we've got different we playlists have... on the channel for different topics and i'm trying to incorporate some of that into our pre-shows uh, the harry scary countdown which is a show that uh which is like a, a, a like a pre-show 15 minute little um, a countdown to the show countdown to our regular uh harry scary hangout show yeah um but yeah i'm trying to put that together and trying to incorporate some rescued reels in that so you know you get a little taste of some of the, the we've got so much much stuff it's hard to keep up with but so um yeah this podcast covers our thrifting <sighs> and our resale yep. adventures and also the mummy and the monkey stuff so where so, do we start it's been a crazy couple of weeks, and leading up to Cinema Wasteland, there was a big uh, scare regarding one of our friends that we've known oh. a long time, yeah. where um, their health, they weren't doing so good, and then a couple days later, they were sounding and acting a little bit better. Um, so, so far, so good. I think that they are doing much better. It seems like it. I mean, but I it was... We you know it gave us a scare right yeah he's not out of the woods yeah. yet but he's definitely uh doing better now than he was the, the, the uh, like a week before you know ago mm -hmm. when we saw him last 
And then um, we were trying to keep tabs on him and uh, trying to go see him. And then we got the report that uh, he was doing a little bit better, and he's definitely on the up. But he's like I said, he's still got a long way to go. Yep, he's he's got a lot of healing so to do. So, oh, yeah. uh, you know, we hope. I could. He's get on the right it. track I don't know how there. He's doing it, but he's doing it. Yeah. He's a trooper. I told you that. Don't count him out. When he was when he was feeling bad, I said, "This guy's a fighter." Uh, so there's that, and then we were getting ready for Cinema Wasteland, and then Cinema Wasteland happened, and Whoa. the weekend. Uh, Friday was kind of like so-so where we had some busy spurts and some groups of people came up, but then there was like a little bit of quiet time in between. And, you know, that was cool. And then fr uh, Saturday rolls around. Saturday was like boom, 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 nonstop. Yeah, it was just... And it was awesome to see everybody. But, uh, wow, yeah. <laughs> nonstop Saturday. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're sitting there, well, when you're sitting there, like, it, sometimes it feels like it's it's just lasts forever. It kind of just drags on. But Saturday was not that. But Friday was, was kind of like, you know, not too bad. But Yeah, was Friday was a little, a little more chill. It was like getting into the weekend. And then Saturday, everyone was there Saturday. Yeah, it was great. And, and it, uh, it, went, it went really fast. And Sunday just goes but by faster. But We were beat. <laughs> and yeah. Sunday was more chill. We got to sleep. Get, get a little more sleep and the show started a little bit later but it was like it was a, like a half day it was Sunday. a different kind of hairy scary hangout i mean uh on saturday it was like everybody you know the people that came through mm -hmm. you know hung out the table we had uh marty come through oh my god we have a shout out list we're gonna do well, on there's the show, a shout out list that i have to add it. to the show notes there's so many people our buddy chad noble cordy came out so many Lardy. yep um yeah. poof uh, uh, Shooks, the Shook family the came Shook, out all the, all the way, way from, from Florida. Florida. Oh my God! Ron and his wife all the way from Baltimore. Very very sweet people. Yeah. Although the Stotzers came the out. The Stotzers came out. Uh, Stotzer family. Wolf Child jumped in in Wolf the mix. Wolf Child hanging out all with everybody. Like see, all I like to see Wolf Child introduce him to Marty and they hit it off good. Oh, they were hanging out. I just threw yeah. the the topic to talk about was Dolomite and boom, it was just like an hour of, of just us riffing on the movie. And they didn't have like. Um, a lot of like big names there, but it was a lot of big name B movie people. So like Brink yeah. Stevens was there. She's a scream queen. She she's a wonderful actress. She's super nice. We um had the opportunity to video her before for one of our Halloween shows. Right. I wanted to interview Brink Stevens and um oh Brink and Hooker actress and her and who was the other lady. Oh, uh, oh, Debbie oh, Rashawn. Oh. Debbie Rashawn. I, I didn't even see I, her there. I, I didn't even get to go up and say hi. Yeah. It, it was just so busy. Well, Saturday was nuts. And then uh, we, we said hi to Brink a couple yeah. times in passing when she was walking by, but like I didn't even get to go to her table. And the, I think the Frankenhooker lady thought we were the, the pretty funny or interesting. Oh, yeah. We got a photo with her. The actress, yeah. And then yeah. Uh, she walked by the table one time. She goes, hey, monkey man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's her name? Jennifer... I'm sorry, I Rubens. I can't think right now. I'm yeah. terrible with names right now, but yeah, um, between her and then the other scream queens, and then uh, Lloyd Kaufman was there from Trauma. Yeah, um, Trauma is amazing. They put out a lot of amazing movies, and they give indie filmmakers a chance to get their movies seen. Um, you know, from what I the, yeah, from what I hear, pay isn't the greatest, but it gets their um, movies seen. Yeah, but you know, you got the you know, <laughs> and you're a scream a scream queen, a Trauma scream queen, right? Yeah, so Revenge of the Spacemen is distributed through Troma Entertainment, and that is a movie that I starred in mm -hmm. a little, uh, ten, uh, 11 years ago already. Jeez, Gosh. 11 yeah, years ago. Uh, our buddy uh, Henry, Henrik Kuto, filmmaker extraordinaire, uh, talked to Addison Binnick, who made um, uh, Psycho, Psycho Ape, Ape And he's one. working on Psycho Ape Psycho 2. Psycho Ape 2 is almost done, and he still said we can still show Psycho Ape. Really? He said, do what you have to do so, to, to get it out there. It's you know? a very interesting and weird movie, but it's so, like, there's so many things we would have to cut out for YouTube. That's, he, said, I, he said, that's fine. So, okay, so we're going to have to host it, he and then I, he said, you're yeah. going gonna to have to do a lot of creative editing. I can do that. <laughs> you know, I just, I don't, I just don't know why I'm kind of, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Patty yeah. Mullen, that's right. Thank you, Patty, Travis. Yeah. I don't know why I was thinking Jennifer. I'm sorry. I think that was the, oh, yeah, and then the one actress from... What was it? Nightmare on Elm Street? Dream Warriors? Oh, the Dream Warriors, actually. She, yeah. she, the punk or, the punk looking chick. She was there, too, signing autographs. Two true fans of horror right so, here I'll, who don't know anyone's <laughs> name. So, a lot of, uh, like, again, no, no, like, big, you know, a, you know what I mean? Like, 
not like well, by Hollywood standards. Like they don't, but what I like but they is never, well, they had John Saxon. Once. Well, and that's what's great about Cinema Wasteland is they have like all these cool like B movie actors. Well, they're the ones that don't get the. I mean, they're, and, they're beloved, but, but they just don't get the love at a big convention. They, they have a cult following, but oh, yeah. yeah, they're not like. And that's what I like about that show is they they get like these B movie people and they're it's great to like actually, you know, if you're a fan and want to go and and meet them like it, you can't actually do it without being in line for like ten hours. Why can't they get Bill Shatner to do <laughs> Cinema Wasteland or George Takei? I would love to do Wasteland. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't. I wanted oh. to get some video of some of the Scream Queen ladies, some of the Ooh. actresses. I just never got the chance to. Oh but my. we did say hi to some of them, and, and uh, yeah. you know, Brink Stevens was super nice to us before, and she remembered us. She goes, hey, mummy, hey, monkey. That's not hard, but again, these look at us. I mean, it's not that <laughs> it's hard. It's pretty easy to figure, figure out, out what we're what we are. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, oh, I know. Uh, one thing that I liked a lot was, uh, you know, uh, some of the people that we never met, that, that saw us for the first time, the kids. Some of the kids just, you know, you know. Oh yeah, the the mini monsters. The mini monsters that we got the that meet. wanted a picture with yeah. us. Oh, and uh, yeah, there were two a brother and sister that came up, and they really oh, liked yeah. like the Halloween stuff, and they were shopping the past stuff. Past several wastelands, they would, uh, you know, they they would come up to our booth because <laughs> some, you know, besides the merchandise that we sell, we would have like stuff. a little shelf off to the side. Of just like some Halloween decorations, sometimes like vintage Halloween stuff. It's a little Hall collectibles. Yeah, because yeah. you could sell any pretty much anything there except for drugs and alcohol. You know what I mean? But uh, anything goes as far as like you know tchotchkes and you know uh, flea market type stuff. I would say keep it in the horror realm, so it's not just like you're not know, selling any old garbage, mm -hmm. like bold used beer cans or something like that. But um, you know, uh, but we brought and they and they love that vintage stuff. I mean, they keep uh, they they bought like. Most of the stuff that we had, like he, I think the one, like last, last time he things. bought, the one kid got like he got like a witch, some type of witch that would make noise or something, and yeah. like a pumpkin, all kinds of stuff. It, it was cute. The kids, the kiddos liked the Halloween stuff. I sold him a devil mask or a latex devil. Oh mask. yeah, the, yeah, that devil mask with the horns. Yeah, and uh, what else? Oh, I forgot what, something else. I sold it was Halloween. They might, did they buy that buy that pumpkin off of you? Some no, maybe not them. The blow mold. They might have. Oh no, the ghost. It was a pumpkin ghost. ghost, ghost. It, and it lights up. Yeah, they did buy that. But uh, yeah, it was, but they, they're fun to see. And um, again, they're repeat customers now. They're they're fans of the show. Mm -hmm. We gave them buttons and everything. Mommy, oh yeah, mommy buttons. But that was cute. Their mom took them out to Cinema yeah. Wasteland, and they were loving all the Halloween stuff. Well, here's the tough part, though. Is like you know, as as much fun as all of that is, and I guess once you know this dies down one day, like everything will. You might miss it, but uh, the the inability to have a lunch. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So moving forward, when we're at conventions, <clears throat> excuse me, when we're at conventions all day like that, we're gonna have to step away to take a lunch break. Yeah, or just and just it, put an, a sign it. on the on the booth or whatever. He'd be back in a half hour because <laughs> to work nine hours straight through without a break is it's really rough. Brutal. Yeah, it's, it's hard. really rough. But we did it. We yeah, did. I mean, we barely got to eat anything there, like, and the concession stand in the lobby was like running out of everything. They were they, I, they were sold they, because they stepped their game up. They sh they should have stocked up with more food because like I don't think they realized they had it was like chicken Caesar wrap. I'm like, oh, a chicken wrap that sounds good. Out of it. Out of it. And then they ran Ruben out of the Ruben. sandwich. Out. All they had were hot dogs left and like some chips. But they even change. <laughs> they even rotate the menu like at different times. It's like crazy. But that's good. I mean, and they were selling out of stuff, which is good, I guess, for them. But who knows how much they had, how much, uh, how much they had in stock? I have no idea. But the, I guess he was doing good. Yeah. So I think moving forward, we're just gonna have to maybe order some food for delivery, and just hey guys, um, we love hanging out with you and chatting with you. We'll continue this after we've had our lunch break, and just step away from everything. Mm. And just go sit somewhere else. <laughs> Where? How? With that monkey mask of mine? I can't well, take that Well, maybe off. take the mask off for a little I bit. I can't. You can't? No. Why can't you? That thing gets... Is it, like, too gross to put it back on? Yes. It's like, if you have you worn a baseball cap in the summer, taking it off and try to put it back on, it, it's gross. Oh, it's yeah, cold. yeah, because of the sweat. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's never, so it gets clammy. You just leave it on. <laughs> you just leave it on for the whole duration, and then you... Whoosh. Well, that's okay. We can go and maybe sit in the lobby and eat. <laughs> <laughs> away from the table. Good luck. 
But anyway, so that, that's that's yeah. my cross to bear, so to speak. Maybe order pizza. I have it delivered. Ah, I can't time. eat pizza through that thing. Oh yeah, maybe not. You think that. about me. We'll figure something out. Yeah. We have to. <laughs> There's many, many hurdles. We've but. we've packed lunches before. Yeah, we packed the but then, sandwiches. Like you sit but down to not, eat. It, the the food's not the problem. And then <laughs> the problem is. Oh, you're eating your lunch. Mm. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm eating my lunch. <laughs> I'm swallowing. I'm masticating a sandwich. Hey, Janet, sandwich. how's it going? What are you doing? I'm eating my sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well. you know, it's no offense to anybody, but you know. We, I, we have to step away to take a lunch break or maybe cover up the booth with a curtain or something. What are you doing? I took a bite out of my ham sandwich and now the saliva in my <laughs> mouth is breaking down the enzymes and it's making, and it's and I'm going to prepare it for digestion. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Yes, I'm chewing my food. Yes, I'm chewing, masticating. What? Oh my goodness. What's, what else? What's going on in the comments? So, okay, uh, Michaela is here. Oh. So she says hello. Hello, Michaela. Devin says, I'm ordering Revenge of the Spacemen. Let's go. We have one? No, oh, they're going to get like, it from Troma. Troma, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's on Amazon also. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah, that was a fun movie to be a part of. It's a really fun movie. Even though you and kiss it, another guy in there. I did. I made out with another guy. That was before we were together. That doesn't matter. And it, I was actoring. It was pretend. Still, it makes me very angry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. It's like when you pretend to kiss me. This thing, I get it. Spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> I kiss a dude in the movie. <laughs> Where? <laughs> on, the, the, on the kisser. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's okay. Where? Jeez, <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I want to be entertaining without being too uh, over the top. Yeah. So, it sounds like a big crowd, says Bruce. Yeah, it was It was a big crowd Saturday. It was interesting, it, yeah. It was, very, it was very busy, but it was good. This is know? also like kind of, the, I mean, they have conventions almost every weekend now, right? Anywhere you go. But um, Cinema is still one of the biggest ones. And it's like right there when everyone's, you know, been in all winter. And it's like right when spring starts breaking. And uh, people want to probably just get out and do something anyway. So, that, mm -hmm. that's the reason to, to go out and meet your... You know, your demented Wasteland family, the reunion that they call it, you know, the demented family reunion at Wasteland. Yeah. So it's all that kind of stuff. People hang out all no day. No sound, says Marty. Turn the sound up. Yep. You guys can hear us, right? Everyone else is commenting is like Mike they on? can. Yeah, yeah the on. light's on. Yeah. Maybe he hit mute by mistake. Mm -hmm. Could be. Check was was the big crowd of the solar eclipse people? There was that. Oh, oh well, that's so a whole then there was layer. that too between. We're talking about that. We're talking Cinema Wasteland and people visiting from out of town for the eclipse. Yeah. Um. Yeah. N the NCAA. hotels ran out of rooms. There was an NCAA. And then there was some basketball thing over the weekend. Basketball tournament. So yeah. Yeah, but the people that that were in the hotel aren't the same people that come into the. No, the, it was the, like the, different uh, you, showroom. So you had the eclipse the crowd, room. and then you had the cinema wasteland crowd. Uh, but yeah, but the people coming yeah. into wasteland, there were a lot. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't just for the no, eclipse. No. No. Because you have to pay to get into the show. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You needed yeah passes or. I mean, I mean, them. maybe people were there to see both, but. I mean, I don't, I, don't, know. I don't know. But I heard they sold out of rooms pretty quick. And, well. And then what rooms, they if they had a few left, like, they were charging a lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll, we will be attending the October show. I don't know who the guests are for that show yet. Us, I didn't, no. I didn't look on the website yet to see if they updated it. No, we did our thing, too, like, on Saturdays in the morning. Uh, we usually have a feature that we, uh, that, that we submit to be shown in the movie room. And this year was... Um, or this wasteland was our new release on DVD, uh, Grim Gory's Halloween Hoot and Annie special from 2014. And this is now available on DVD. Um, the copies that we have left, I did put in my eBay store. I also put up the uh, coffee mugs and tumbler cups. I have a handful of those left. Um, a lot of people picked those up at the convention. So um, there's a few more DVDs I'm going to be putting online later. Deviant Ds. DVDs. DVDs. So the movie that we host in this one is The Killer Shrews, and this is really what started The Mummy and the Monkey. So mm -hmm. in 2014, your, you and your character wanted yep. to put together the Halloween Hoot Nanny. Right. And you wanted me to make a guest appearance. Yep. yep. And I, I helped video some stuff uh, for the show also. Mm hmm. And um, our buddy, the Schlockmeister, also makes up an appearance in this. Yes, he does. And um, it was shortly after. 
I think around the time we were done with the Daughter of the Ghoul show, that's another uh, public access. It was a program we were helping out with, and that's how we originally met. Um, and then we wanted to work on our own projects. Right. So this was our first independent project that we kind of worked on together. And then later on, we're like, you know, let's make The Mummy and the Monkey. Let's just do it. It was like later that day, because when we were filming some of the stuff for this, it was at some like Halloween trick or treat thing. And the kids were yelling, mummy, monkey. And I, I thought, you know, let's have that be our show, The Mummy and the Monkey. Because I couldn't think of what else to call it. I was having a hard time coming up with what we should call our show. I mean, it was it's pretty easy to figure out, right? Mummy and Monkey. I wasn't having a hard time. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it was just interesting. And then, so, yes, I, I got to go through and see. I, I started making a bunch of logos and I other names for the show. So let me dig those up. Maybe we could talk about that one day. Some alternate uh, alternative names or something yet. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Like but, go over uh, our old notes I think I spelled doodles. Monkey with a U at one point, too. Oh, yeah, you wanted to spell it differently. Yeah, because you have M-U, M-U, you know, yeah. mummy, monkey. But, um, yeah, this one, keep, you put sound effects in. Yeah, the sound the effects in the The original one did not have sound effects, did it? I don't no. believe it did. No. When we first put this no. together, it didn't have sound no, effects. it didn't. The, the movie didn't. But so. for the DVD release, you added the sound effects. Yeah, yeah, I went ahead and put one of the times I did it for our show. This killer shoot we showed at one time. Yeah, so 10 years ago, that went by quick didn't it? <laughs> it all does. It all does. Marty says, love my coffee cup. Oh, yeah, um, thanks. Ed said the eclipse sucked here because it was totally cloudy in western New York. Yeah, um, we were really lucky to have nice weather on Monday. Mm -hmm. Like, super lucky. And today and yesterday, it's been kind of cloudy and rainy. So yeah, It's going to take a while for everything to kick in <clears throat> full swing. But, but we, we had like a decent weekend. We had a good Monday, and mm -hmm. now the rest of the weekend's kind of cool and rainy. Yeah. <laughs> I could take that. I can, let's That's be, fine. Because we work better inside during the day. Bruce says, those tumbler cups look great. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't sell. I thought we would have sold them all. but we There's didn't. five left. Okay, so we're over half sold. <laughs> yeah, five left. So, okay, um, we talked about Cinema Wasteland. We, oh, yeah, we are hosting a show this Friday. We are going to be live on the Harry Scary Hangouts this Friday. Do you want to talk about the movie at all? Or yeah, we could talk about it? it. What's it called again? It's the called the, the Bat Whispers. The Bat Whispers. The Bat Whispers, and it's not like a cool Batman movie. It's not like the Devil Bat. It's it's a whodunit murder mystery. It's not the Bat Whisperer, like a guy trying to... Trying to communicate with, with bats. bats. No. No. Whispers. It, the Bat Whispers. It's a it's a 1930 pre-code whodunit movie, and it's uh, the first film ever shot in widescreen. Mm. And it's a talkie, you know, one of those early talkie movies. So The Bat Whispers, and actually it's a so, sequel to The Spider Barks. <laughs> That's Remember that movie? And we're going to have to turn the volume up on that movie because the sound is... We. Well, you when Me. you do your editing. Because, yeah, the audio is a little quiet. That's... It's whispered, the bat whispers. But the movie is like a hundred years the old. The movie whispers too. I got to yeah, check yeah. this out. Maybe you think it's gonna be. Uh, uh, but, well, know. if that move, if if the, this one doesn't work out, I have another one lined up Let that we might be able tonight. to use. Let me not. Yeah, jump. The I have here. to double check, but it's called the Lady and the <clears throat> Monster. The Lady and about the a whispers. mad scientist who takes over the brain of some young lady to do his evil bidding or whatever. So he like so tries like to take over ever. someone's brain. Every man ever <laughs> tries to take over the. Oh gosh, so we'll see. That one's from the 1940s. I, Sorry, there was a, a 1970s movie I picked out that I wanted us to show, but then when I researched it a little more, we can't play it. Mm, Star Wars. No. It's Raiders called, of the Lost. Ark. It's called Embryo. Oh. It's like a like a, a Frankenstein story sort of, mm -hmm. and, but he creates a woman, and it's like kind of there's scenes we would have had to chop out. <laughs> It's very 70s. I have to watch them over and over again. But yeah, that one we can't play. Dog. I wanted to play it, but YouTube won't let us. Garnish. And it might have a copyright. I, I didn't think it did, but I guess it might. More so. like a copy wrong. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to risk that. Don't do it. No. We'll, oh. we'll find something else. So that's, you know, we've got two movies we're kind of thinking about. Yeah, so, so. who knows. We'll an old, like, old timey movie. We'll post something official tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, so we'll be playing an old timey one. All right. Cleveland weather was perfect for the eclipse, says Ron. Yeah, it really did work out, which is surprising for Cleveland weather, right? Because mm -hmm. it's... 
Well, and the uh, the Guardians won their their opening game. Yeah, they won their opening game, Shut so that out. was nice to Four hear. Nothing, I think it was. So it was a nice day out overall here in Cleveland, Ohio. Randy says the first time I saw you guys was on Frankenstein Island, oh, and then when you did the haunted house, five floors of hell, seven floors of hell. No, they they cut costs. It's five floors now. Oh, okay. They got rid of the other two floors. <laughs> I think that's when I was hooked. Oh, thanks, Randy. Um, Ed says never heard of it. We were what? talking about the Bat Whispers. No, nah, I never heard of it either. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Welcome I, to the I party, pal. I through it. It looks like it's okay. It's just yeah. an old tiny murder mystery. I don't movie. know. So I don't know. We're gonna do some some movie research this evening. Um. All right. Some more mummy monkey notes. More mung, mummy monkey business. Oh, Rondo voting ends soon. Oh shoot, that's right. I think it ends on April fifteenth. Yeah. So there's technically a few more days to vote in the Rondo Hatton Classic Horror Awards. Do we have a graphic for that? Yeah, it's probably in that. Um, is it in the camera or in this one here? It says Rondo. I'm looking. I can look. I don't. See. Oh, there it is. You find it? Yeah. That's for me, though, I think. That's for you? Oh, for Best Artist. I mean, you could show that right there and then click off it or whatever. So there it is. Rondo Hatton. Uh, we're under the Horror Host category. That's a very tough category. Um, and then James can be a write-in. James Harvin for Best Artist. And this is all the artwork and graphic design he's all done. Oh, right, that's it. Well, well, there's more. There's he's a, done there's a, a smattering ton, of what I've done. But that's just a little bit of the artwork he's done. He's designed I'm all over the place with my artworks there, as you all, if you know me, He's done monster you know. arts, all that stuff. Comic booky art, cool stuff for people's Commission tattoos. Commission pieces for people. Silly drawings of things going on. He did fan art for uh, David Dustmelchin there. The, the, he sent that the in The famous Hollywood actor. Count Crowley's, at, uh, the character Count Crowley. Yeah. He had poster design. All that stuff. Yeah. The Big Chuck and Little John poster that Big Chuck and Little John approved of you doing. That's right. And all the info is there. You could go on rondoaward.com. Yep, and vote for uh, whomever you want. Uh, you can only you can vote one category or all the categories, whatever you choose to do. And Yeah, um, technically, yeah, you can vote for as many. It's um, There's like 20-something categories, and some of them are write-ins. But you can vote for like one category or you could vote for all of them. Just whatever you want. And all of the instructions are on there. You have to kind of like, I didn't copy and paste everything. But like when I went to go vote, I just wrote down like for each category who what who or what I wanted to vote right. for. And then I would just type it up. And they send you a confirmation email, right? Yeah, it's all through email. And once you send in your ballot, you'll get a confirmation email. Yeah. So that way you know it went through. Right. Thank you, Bargain Barons. They put it in the chat. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And what's funny is, so I'm putting out more shorts for our YouTube channel. And Earl is viral. I think Earl's getting more popular than we are. Oh, no. I put up a, a video of Earl That's where I, cool, I touch his, I pet his belly and he like bites and kicks me. <laughs> and Earl's video got like 10,000 views. So, yeah. And so the wrap up the Wasteland stuff. I found <clears> some <throat> movies there. I got a box full of stuff. But uh, just some weird oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. We did some shopping while we were there on yeah. Sunday. We got some indie films, Redder. That looks pretty cool. Girl in the bathtub with a knife. Oh, this one was given to us, I think. Uh, cult Movies TV. I think it's some guys that review cult movies. A couple episodes of that. It looks interesting. Yeah. Uh, David uh, has a comment. Daughter of the ghoul. I didn't know that Janet is Swede-ish. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. No, um, no relation to Ron Swede, who played oh, the ghoul. Do we got to get into that? Uh, I guess we have to do a brief explanation of that. It was a public access cable show that another producer, you know, uh, another fan wanted to do, and they he named it The Daughter of the Ghoul. All we did was help with hosting it and help with some behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, acted out in a few skits here and there, but we did not make that name. We actually didn't like that title. I tried, we suggested I tried to, that he changed the name. I got a sketchbook with a bunch of names I tried to come up. I yeah. showed it to him. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I want to keep it the... I want to keep it that. I'm like, all right. Yeah. And so we, we helped it, with that show for about a year or two, and then we parted ways and started our own videos. But it's done nothing but cause, cause confusion it between conf people that are actual fans. 
of the ghoul. Of the, of the genre. They're like, I didn't know Rod Sweet had a daughter. It's like... Mm. Yeah, it was it was too much confusion, and then a lot of, like... Um, well, then you got accused of stuff. Oh, and people accusing me of riding the ghoul's coattails, accusing me of, of just... Creating, of creating the show. And it's, of you creating the, create sh the show. Yeah, and I, I didn't. All I did was help host it. Yeah. So, it wasn't my show. Uh, I was just... I was just an actress on the show. Yeah, you were just yeah. uh, trying to do something fun, and... Um, you know, and it just well it turned into this. So I guess so. Here we it are. Didn't now. work out that bad. Yeah, like twelve years know. later. Okay. Um, let's see. Wiki says I met Janet at Goulardi Fest when she was the daughter, when she was with the daughter of the Ghoul Show, and then James a year later at Goulardi Fest with Janet. Cool. Yeah. Time flies, right? It sure does. Okay, so let's get back to the um, movies you picked up. Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. We get we get show that for a minute, and then we can um, switch gears and talk about eBay stuff. I, yeah, we're, we're gonna go show. I speak of bargain barons. We got, we got a bunch of mail. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're gonna uh, open up a lot of fun viewer mail. Uh, yeah. This week's show, you don't want to miss that. The bargain barons all they the way from a, Canada a sent us a box of cool stuff. Yeah. So who you know who knows what's in that? Can't wait to open. We that didn't up. open it yet. We're gonna open um, these boxes on Friday. We got some fan mail. We're gonna we're gonna show. I got uh, the Beast Within the Woods from the Tim Gross and those guys over there at uh, Gross Fest. Uh, the Swamp Woman. Ooh. Shatter Dead. I don't know what that means, but you know. We brought bring some toilet paper with you. <laughs> Shattered Dead, Alphabet Soup, a uh, horror anthology, which could be good. Beyond Beyond Dark Dreams. Ooh, I, where did I get that thing at? Travis says I. Oh, another one of the indie films. Yeah. I saw a statue of Janet Decay at a vendor at Texas Frightmare last year. Oh, the clay guy. It's probably Barry the clay guy. Yeah. Barry hand sculpts all of those figurines, and he made it uh, a handful of my character. So yeah, he does take those with him to conventions. And a real nice no, fan. Has, yeah. What was his name? Air? What was that one fellow's name? Air, right? Yeah, he has a very unique name. A Y E. Something like that. Like a, yeah. I'm afraid of mispronouncing but, it. But he gave us a couple things. That, um, one of them was this. Uh, it's the Amazing Sounds uh, of Shock Theater with Dr. Creep. It's a CD. With a band, I guess they use sound bites from the sh from the Doctor Creep show. We haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, but we haven't heard it yet, but that this is so looks cool. Really interesting. It looks like it's sort of a since we collect a lot of the horror host stuff. Hard to find one too, and I had no idea this existed. But now it's that's totally a good add to the horror host collection that we have. I that's love awesome. it. Thanks, man, for that. That's really, really sweet. It'll be but part yeah. of our collection for sure. We got a bunch of weird stuff. I don't know what else to show here. Cryptids. We got the new one from uh, Scream Team releasing yeah so scream team releasing those guys make some really great movies the barn one the barn two they're working on the barn three hopefully soon and then um this is a a new one they released called cryptids and it's an anthology about different um and who's in it joe bob briggs is in it that's right so we did pick that up from them and they're good convention neighbors yes I like they're seeing, literally our neighbors they, they are literally right next to our table and we sit there and, <laughs> and just talk and share all the sights and smells of the uh convention. of the convention the cur i miss that about wasteland a little bit i don't mm. smell the um the incense the incense people there yeah that was like a big part of that whole room to me Oh, My yeah. Memories. That's a good point. And I don't hear the Midnight Syndicate music anymore. Nope. They used to play that. They used all. to play Midnight Syndicate music. Yeah, that's true. You can see it in some of the videos. You can't smell the videos, but you can see no. it. No. The Curse of the Crying Woman. Uh-oh. Every once a month. What is that one? I don't know. Is that one one you thought was an Asian movie or something like that? Or a horror collection? Just, just Telefilms a, International. It looks kind of strange. Yeah, it might be a... Um, I wonder if we could play that one. Oh, because it looks like it has kanji on it. So I think it might be an Asian film. Hmm. Maybe it's like a cool monster movie well, or something. Well, that's why I grabbed it. It was cheap and strange. So that's got me written all over it. The Asylum Beyond the Dead. Are those movies on Tubi? You know, I'm not sure. Which well, one? Well, uh, at me, the DVDs we picked up. Oh, I don't know. Some of them might be. Um, or, or Scream Team releasing. Um, yeah, we're, they have their own, I think, streaming service. I think you could get theirs yeah. maybe on their own website. I think you're right. Just yeah, Google so. Scream Team releasing. Ah, and uh, they've got a website. And yeah, I think they have some type of streaming thing of their own. I might be mistaken, but I thought I heard them talk about it. 
Okay, so you want to switch gears? Let's switch gears. To reselling? To reselling. And all that kind of good stuff. All I know is that I've got so much stuff piled up from the last couple of trips we did. I won't say where. To the secret place. To the secret place. And I've got so much secret stuff to, to list. I'm, Your uh, secret stash. And, and on top of... Uh, uh, all the other stuff you haven't listed yet. Well, and on top of it being very close to uh, flea market season. Oh my goodness! So I don't know. What Run a say. sale, discount everything I in your store. List things. Make room. You have to make room for stuff because. Oh. And that's what I'm trying to do. I've been sending out offers. I run coupons sometimes. Okay. And I'm trying to get stuff moving. Good. Um, some stuff I will still be firm on with the price because I know what it's worth, and some stuff I can wait on if it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's like having an impacted bowels. You, know, you have to get the <laughs> get the poo moving. Get it moving. Through. Yeah, get colace or something to break up that. Well, like softener. last last week, I sold um, I sold it for parts for twenty five bucks. I paid twenty for it, so that was a bad buy. Mm. And it was a tr it was a portable VCR, and it had a handle, and it was like a VCR that you could take with you, like when traveling. I didn't have the power cord for it. It took some kind of weird power cord, so I was unable to test it out. I thought I could have made some something on it still because it looked like it was like rare and hard to find, but no. Hmm. It took up room. It's clunky. I want it out of here. $25? Sure. Get it out of here. <laughs> and now I won't buy that again. Don't ever. Nope. Nope. But yeah, some stuff, it's, it's, it's like that if it's just sitting around and I need it gone. Well, speaking and of then big, I learned from it. <laughs> learn clunky. not to buy that. Speaking of big and clunky, we were just we went to Savers, which we can say Savers. Just, yeah. David's asking the name of your store. Oh. Yes, Toy Day. Mine is Yes. Well, no. Or Shop Yes Toy Day. It's is yeah. It's Shop Yes Toy Day. Yes. Uh, but if you look up the New World Hoarder, eBay. It'll, it'll take you there, too. So it's got a couple names. Yeah, New World. I wanted it to be New World Hoarder, but they, I try to change it, and it won't change it. I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. But, it, yeah, Yes Toy Day, Y-E-S-T-O-Y-D-A-Y, Yes Toy Day. Yes Toy Day. Shop, yes. Or, or like I said, if you Google um, eBay and then New World Hoarder, it should bring you to my shop. Oh, okay. So what did you pick up so at yesterday Savers we yesterday? Savers. I went to Old Man Savers because I'm over 55. And I get that 30% off every Tuesday, so I'm taking the advantage of that. The senior discount. <laughs> God bless America. I don't want it to, but, but I, you know. You might as well take advantage of it. You're <sighs> old people now. You might as well use the discount. I think you're old. Once you're like 35, people look at you like you're old. So. <laughs> anyway, so I've been old for a long time. When I was 15, I used to think 30 was old. I know, me too. Like 30, wow, that's old. Shit, I wish I could be 30 again. And now that I'm past that... <laughs> Well, I'm now, like, Jeez. but there, and there, one of the things about Savers is that they they kind of lost their gut minds there, you know, with some of the prices of stuff. Some of their prices are awful. Yeah, it should be called spenders, not savers. <laughs> and and I'm really particular of what I pick up from the savers because their prices suck. Yeah. Well, this thing I saw, and I'm surprised nobody bought it. Probably doesn't want to deal with it, but I had no idea what this was when I first saw it. I don't think anybody would. I had to uh, Google Lens it, and it told me exactly what it was. But this is something that is probably even more, uh, what you, what's the right word I'm looking for? Um, not irrelevant, but it's like... Obsolete? Obsolete. Obsolete technology. Even more obsolete than... Super obscure. Than a laser disc player. But this, what this is, and now I, even if I say what it is, you'd probably be like, what's that? Have you heard of, have you ever heard of microfiche? It's yes. not like a little swimming, not like a... Not like tiny fish no. swimming around? No. Microfish not micro fish. is a type of film. Um, and, and most libraries had these in, in places and you know agencies or whatever that had uh, a lot of documents that they would scan in. And, and instead of having giant photographs printed, they would have it all on microfiche film. And then you'd have a microfiche viewer. This is a portable microfiche viewer. And uh, before I bought it, I did look it up. And they do sell. <laughs> they wanted 40 bucks for this at Savers, at mm. Spenders. <laughs> and I got the 30% off, so whatever that would be. I think it was a, 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 whatever it was, the 369. So I got like 9, 9 20, you know, like 12 bucks off. Okay. But um, but they sell for like between 80 and 125 For bucks. reals? Yeah. Wow. Solds. Actual solds. There must still be a use for it. Well, people like, well, it's almost like, you know, some part of me is like, should we keep this? 
And if it works, so just in case we come across microfiche, which we probably never we will. We probably never will. But because I, I like I, to keep... Just, just sell it and I am going to sell it, yes, yeah. for sure. Please but, sell it but and my, get out of here. But I'm answering your question. There are probably be people out there that collect microfiche mm -hmm. or have weird... you know. But do you like know if us, it works? That ain't my problem. You're going to sell it as is? How would I test it out? Oh, that's true. If we don't have the microfiches to test it out. There's no tiny little fish around here. <laughs> But, you know, even if I sold it untested for parts, I mean, like I said, I got it for, like, uh, what, maybe $30. Mm -hmm. So if I can make six, double my money or make a little bit more. But it'll sell, though. That's the thing. Like, you could buy this for 40 bucks and yes. sell it for, you know, uh, 80 double your money, or buy something for $2 and never sell it. It, doesn't, it has nothing to do with the price. Yeah. As whether to do, what is you know. If it'll sell quick. Whether if, it's, if it sells at all, you know. There's well, so much cool ideally stuff. Ideally, you want it to sell and not have it sit for like a year. Oh, that'd be nice too. But yeah. there's a lot of cool stuff that we that I buy. I'll speak for myself that I thought would sell like crazy. Matter of fact, like two thousand things that I thought would sell <laughs> in my store, and they don't they don't move. Well, uh, they don't well. budge. And then they so don't. do you. I do. I have three. Oh, I've got more. I've got over three thousand things in my so store. So obviously, it's a duh thing to say, but when you're trying to sell on eBay, especially eBay, or anything, probably any kind of platform or any type of business. Any format. online site you or need to, Or anything in general. You want to, you're going to buy stuff that's going to sell and not stuff that looks cool and not going to sell. So anyway, it's hopefully that. But that was kind of fun. It weighs a ton. It's probably like, I don't know, eight pounds. Speaking of that, speaking of bulky and heavy things. Hey. That, the challenge. micro fish, not you. Oh. Weight Jeez. challenge. <laughs> So FedEx has lowered Fed their... FedEx? Now, what'd you call me that for? FedEx. Oh, 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 FedEx. Oh, God. FedEx has lowered on. their prices on shipping. <laughs> so this is good for you, the shopper, I'm... or you, the seller, and maybe both. Probably yeah. both. Yeah. Um, I noticed some of their prices are better than USPS and UPS. Are people laughing in the chat at me saying anything? Sears James made a laughy face. <laughs> And the Asylum Beyond the Dead says they are 18. Hmm? Oh, we were talking about age earlier. Uh, and asking if we've ever seen Night Killer on 2B. No, no but we'll have to look it up. Th there's a, a ton of there's movies so we have to stuff. look up. Yeah, we, I, but we'll write it down. We'll yeah. watch it. So, um, yeah, they lowered their shipping rates. So if you are a seller and you have inventory that's bulky and heavy, like that microfiche thing or like a VCR, clunky stuff that would normally cost a lot to ship, and I don't know how long it's going on for, but they've really lowered their prices. Oh, well, I'm like, sure it fluctuates. Really good. It fluctuates. They, even the post, the USPS does that. So, for, although there's no fluctuate, they just keep so going. So for up. like my larger items, heavier things, I, I'm gonna go through and like check the shipping on those because yeah. maybe it would sell better if the shipping was a little lower. It's always screwed up on my app. It, all, the only thing that looks like it's doable is, is always USPS uh, ground advantage now. Yeah. Anything now, but that's different. When I go when I sell something and I go check out and I'm printing a label, there'll be times when then, you know, US UPS is cheaper or FedEx is cheaper. Yeah. But it doesn't show me that when I'm when I'm listing it. It shows me some see, astronomical See, well, when I go price. to list it, I can look and see like I, what too. the better price is. So can I, but it's never that good. It's always super high. I, I don't I don't know. I put all the information, I put the, you know, because well, Try FedEx. Try changing things to FedEx. I'll try to pay more. Cuz they to recently that. like in the past okay. month Noticeably, or so, yeah. it's very greatly reduced like by 30 percent yeah you can save on on the shipping 30%. for the for the heavier this items like your typewriter mm -hmm. or your suitcase big yeah. stuff like that so you got some fun stuff for show and tell right yes okay so i've said before it's good to think outside the box so these are some items i have in my ebay store right now and they're really cool um and they're really like retro yeah. So, do you guys remember these? Who remembers that? Oh, boy. The tissue box cover with the doll the face. Frankenstein head. And the weird hair. <laughs> <laughs> and it still has, like, the old box of tissues in there. Was it the, one, the different, was it blue tissues or um, pink tissues? I think these are just regular ones. Uh, were these even the one, open? <clears throat> it looks like they weren't even open. <clears throat> I gave you one one time. It had, uh, remember the one I gave you? It had, like, purple tissues in it. Yeah, yeah. So they gave you, you know. They, they had to stop making it because that dye got, gave you cancer or something like that. Something weird and like that. But yeah, well, definitely the toilet t tissue uh, was like that. So, yeah, if anyone needs this in their life, I have this in my store right now. It needs now. to be in your life. I think, it, I think you need this in your house. And then uh, 
Okay, uh, a GE little transistor radio. Mr. GE. It's a little AM radio. I did test it out. It does work. Um, the volume is a little finicky, but it does work. So it has this like leather case, and it's just a cute little retro radio. I think it takes a 9-volt battery, like a little 9-volt. Hmm. So that's in my Sounds store. Better. Oh, and okay. Just today you got this. I got this today. And who remembers this on the back of Grandma's couch? Oh, everybody does. Who remembers this over at Grandma's couch? She would get couch? back from Savers with her 30% off. <laughs> and I usually, yeah. That's this nice. That's very colorful. It's is, is amazing. And mm -hmm. it's so cute and kitschy and it's clean. It smells like Grandma washed it before she donated it. I thought you'd say before she died. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'd be washed it before I, I hope, go. I hope Grandma's still around. I oh, hope. I'm. But you know, maybe this is an extra one she donated. Maybe that was supposed to be her like burial cloth. But but I have this listed in my store because um, the shroud of grandma. <laughs> that is a pop. People are liking the granny squares, the granny square blankets, the Afghan uh, you know crocheted blankets, and it's super cute. You know, it, it's that cozy kind of you know retro nostalgia stuff. So yeah, that's in my store right now. Sex blanket. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Oh, that's my <laughs> Did Granny get frisky? On oh it? yes. I don't want to know. Oh yes, I did. You can clone me from that. Stop you know. it. <laughs> You're getting too dirty, James. <laughs> so yeah, that's in my store. And then something cool that I sold. And there's a whole. It's like um. There's a whole set here. It's uh, made by a company called Brio. And their the pieces and parts for you found like that a today? train set. Oh, no, I got this at last week place. at the special store. At the special place we were sourcing it. And it even has like a little elevator. Has like all the wooden tracks. Um, but this, it's a track. this lot of little train pieces and parts sold for $45. Oh, you I, sold them? I sold it for $45. I just listed them yesterday. The Brio stuff? This whole lot, yes. Holy mackerel. Sold, sold for 45 bucks and... Might have paid maybe five bucks for it. Mm -hmm. Damn so, good. I didn't know you sold it. Yeah, I sold it. I told you I sold it. Yeah. I guess you weren't listening. There's that guy too. And they, they're they all connected with magnets, which is kind of cool. I guess you weren't listening. So. Well, you have to chastise me in front of everybody. Well, maybe you just didn't hear me. Well, I thought you were bringing Maybe you forgot. Well, it's there's okay. a lot going on. There, there, yeah, there's a lot going on. It's very embarrassing. It's okay. I, I didn't mean to embarrass you. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's cool. And now well, I know to look for those. Let's put that blanket away. <laughs> Connie mm -hmm. says, my one grandma made me a quilt in 1979. Oh, 1970. Wow. David says that tissue box cover is a good place to store the brain. <laughs> Ugh, that thing is so vile. It's so weird. I love it. Like, who thought that was a good idea? No clue. Those, min those vintage masks in the background are pretty cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's part of our collection. So, yeah, some weird stuff um, that can sell and cool stuff that does sell. That that train set, now I know that's a good brand. Damn, did you even spend that much that day? Uh, a little bit. You were like a high that day. Like $10 over. Yeah. I think I spent, yeah. No, I think we were both about the same. I think that, that covered most of what I bought yesterday. And then you got a bunch of dollhouse. Or house, last week. Dollhouse furniture. Did you list that I stuff I listed yet? all the dollhouse furniture. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well. Yeah. So th those are really cool. And it, like it has all the tracks. You can make your own like train track. Well, whatever you can yeah. get there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a little show and tell. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have it. more items you wanted to that show? That was the one. I don't know where That's that baby a... thing went, but it doesn't matter. It's, I think I left it in there. Oh, okay. It wasn't that exciting. Oh, Go um, hand that over costume? Yeah, hand Why? that over because I wanted to show it because it's funny. A nothing thing. Well, no, it's one we're keeping. Okay. So sometimes when we go thrift, what? we look for stuff for our show, The Mummy and the Monkeys, Harry Scary Hangout. Is that going to have something to do with that blanket? We're, pro yeah. we're probably going to use this for a skit one day. But I had to buy the banana costume, right? You had to. I couldn't leave that behind. I had to buy the banana costume. Had to. So we're going to have to do something funny with this. Banana costume. 
That we could show on camera? You yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, for a skit or something. Uh, I didn't know what you're talking about. Maybe for Grimm. For your monkey character. Our anniversary's coming up. I didn't know there was something wacky going on. Or <laughs> no. Hey, you're, baby. You're Where's my hammock? Where's my banana costume? Banana hammock. <laughs> so, okay. What's going on in the chit chat? Let's see. In the chit chat. Uh, people chatting it up. How is Grim's face going to fit in that costume, says Travis. We don't know. Well, yet. we don't know. Maybe Grim won't wear it. Maybe someone else will. Hey, Stasha. Yeah, yeah. I'm we'll, a banana. We'll figure out something. But I'm like, I, I can't not buy a banana costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so eBay sales have been picking up a little bit. So that's... I've plateaued. You've plateaued? Yeah. But, I, you know, I would like to make more. But let's let's find out. I mean, I, like, but I'm content with what I have. Because it's just money that's extra for me. You know? It's a side in. hustle for yeah. you. Yes. It's not your main job. No. Yeah. So it's a different... But that doesn't mean it can't be more lucrative. Yes. It totally can be. You can you can make it um, full time if you want to. Some people do it part time. Yeah, but you could do it full t part time and still kill it. You could. You totally could. I mean, we know people doing it. Yeah, we do. That's all. That's all. Okay. All right. Let's read some more comments here. Snack toy money says Bruce. <laughs> well, could be. Well, pulling things out of a head to blow your nose is strange. No, it's not. Says Portal. Out of a doll. No, head. It, it's perfectly normal. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so weird. Um, and sometimes weird does well online. Sometimes it does well. Weird or kitschy um, stuff that's nostalgic. Mm hmm. Like granny square blankets. Well, actually, that's the first granny square blanket I've bought. I wanted to give it a try. And you listed that. It looks and good. I listed it, yes. For how much? Uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, that's not too bad. Or best offer. You should sell Because the prices are all over the place, and I think it depends on the size or the colors, the size of the squares. Um, so I'm, I'm looking into different, different things to put on there. And it was like, oh, surprise, and the price was right. I wonder if her granny ever made a pair of granny panties out of the squares. <laughs> she has her own little granny <laughs> I've seen, square um, panties. I've seen people make vests, like the granny square, like, oh, sweaters and vests well, I found out that, of it. That, I, I think I don't know what we did with that. I might have gave it away. But I found a book uh, from the 70s that was, like, all about granny squares. It was called Granny Squares. That's funny. I remember we looked at it. Yeah. yeah. Granny Square. Joe says, I'm still watching you guys from Southwest Florida. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, speaking of Joe, Joe, our buddy Joe Francic came out and gave us some snacks for our snack toys this week. He did, so and, we'll be uh, eating some of those. Greg Tominski came out and gave us a box of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. This show's going to be crazy. Schultz says, the square box tissue head looks like something from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Is that James Schultz? Yes. Oh, hey, James. What's up, man? Yeah, it does. It could be like something out of Pee Wee's Playhouse. And that's not, that's, I, I think that's upstairs. I got to bring, uh, uh, Friday I'll show the, the poster he brought, uh, James Schultz. Oh, Schultz okay. came up and, uh, and, and surprised us and uh, hung around with us a little bit. But he had, he had some really cool uh, stuff he gave us. And one thing was a really giant, po I haven't taken out the poster thing yet, but I have it in the tube still. But it's a King Kong poster from uh, the King Kong movie from the 70s. Very cool. Bone Jangler says they would make hats out of them using beer cans as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they, they would cut up the beer cans and then make the granny squares. So, yeah, those hats are cool, too. Didn't you sell one like that before? It was a it beer was one. It was Schlitz yeah, yeah. beer? Yeah. And it was like someone's crocheted thing. Yeah. Someone bought it. Yeah. And someone bought it. It was like a bucket hat. Yep. Bucket hat. Made it was super beer, cute. Actual beer cans and granny squares. Nice. Quality stuff. <laughs> but um yeah i'm running out of things to discuss let's yeah, see yeah i think we yeah i think we talked about everything i think so we got to uh get the show done for this week i'm done one yeah thing now we're now we're like our minds are focused on like okay what movie and then dinner time Ugh, all so, of that. and then <laughs> all sleep of, and then everything else yeah like, all the things yeah but, so we'll uh, probably wrap this up pretty soon whenever you're i'm following your lead okay cool so, yeah, thank you guys for uh, tuning in to uh, Living the Scream. It, we haven't done a podcast in a while. We yeah. wanted to uh, 
yeah. host one this evening. And back to monkey, monkey, mummy, monkey stuff for a second. There was something we wanted, we thought we were going to be able to announce, but we haven't heard back. So, yeah, we haven't something. been able to make a big announcement yet. <laughs> we something. were hoping yeah. we would by now. Yeah, but we're ch- checking in on that to see what's up with that. I think but. they're still working out things behind the scenes. Yeah. with this uh, collab we're doing. So we can't make a public announcement yet. No, but there's something in the works right now that could be, could be a lot of fun. Like by next week, we'll see. We'll see. That would be cool. And um, yeah, we've we've got some filming dates set up for later on in the month, where we're going to be filming some videos for some other projects. Either way, we'll do something with our, with what we're working on. We'll do something with it. Yeah. But anyway. Anyways, so, so um, I'll get back to, you know, all those other things we're working on. And, yeah, uh, back, it if, never ends. If you that's guys, a good thing. If you guys um, like listening to our podcast, if you like hearing us babble about eBay and monster movies and our characters, um, hit that like button, hit subscribe. We do appreciate you. And thank you to the channel members. I did upload a new video for the channel members. It's a film intermission, you know, from the old drive-in days. And I saw Fluff Chick Productions earlier in the podcast gifted two uh, Mummy and the Monkey channel memberships. Whoa. So thank you so much. We try to upload one or two videos a week for the channel members. That's exclusive to them. As a little thank you for supporting the channel. True that. So, okay. And I guess that's it for now. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Living the Scream. And we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.